Hey what's up guys, it's SS Modern Warfare here, Gamer Tab Banjo Chicken, and welcome back to another Apparition Net video. So in this video, uh, we're looking at the new auto buy system. So we finally got this in place, and I know uh, it's been a long time coming, we really need this, um, because, you know, we, we get on AIM and Skype all the time, we get people uh, complaining about how slow we take to respond. And you're right, we take a long time to respond. And the reason for that is because there are loads of messages. Every time we get on, if we if we leave the aim chat for an hour because, um, I don't know, because of anything, if we have to go out for an hour or something, then the time I get back, there'll be like 30 or 40 messages on the aim chat. And it's really difficult um, for us to, you know, get to everybody in time. So... We've implemented an auto system for buying now. This is going to be it's going to help out a lot because now if you want to buy the program, you don't have to wait for us to respond. You can just buy it straight off the auto buy system, and it all should also free up the aim chat for people who actually need our help uh, or need support for the program rather than people who just want to buy it or uh, get activated. So. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be taking you through, I'm basically going to be walking you guys through the auto system and what you have to do, how to do it. It's, it's fairly simple, but um, it's just to kind of show you guys the new auto system and uh, yeah, you can, and just to help you guys out with it if, uh, if anyone has any questions about it uh, or how it works. So first thing you want to do if you want to buy ApparitionNet is you go to the website. If you just head over to the normal site uh, right here uh, there's a purchase button at the top right or you can look at pricing the light version is not out yet um, yeah light we're not doing an auto buy system on the light at the moment uh, we're not selling light right now we only sell pro at the moment which is you know the full version with everything and pro is lifetime for $35 and you can buy it here or you can click purchase here or up the top right here and it will take you to the auto buy system you need to enter a valid email address in here i'm just going to use a 10 minute mail address myself because uh oops, 10 minute mail um i'm just going to be using a 10 minute mail address because uh this is just a you know just a little walkthrough tutorial so that is why but for you, uh, you need to use your proper email address. It doesn't have to be your PayPal email. It just needs to be an email address that is valid, that you can receive emails on. And it must be correct, because if you get one character wrong in your email address, then you're not going to be sent your product key in the download link um, if you put an invalid email address. So make 100% sure that the email address you're inputting in here is a valid email address that you can access. Um, uh, you can check through the terms and conditions um, and once you have done that you can click continue um, then you've got uh, important code will be sent to this email so it's just giving you another warning that that is the email the code will be sent to your product key will be sent to so make 100 percent sure that that email address is a valid one that you can access uh, then you can click confirm and pay which will take you to paypal to complete the purchase um, So click login on PayPal when you're ready to pay and go ahead and click pay now when it prompts you. And once you have done that, as you can see there, it has now been done. And now that you have done that, the payment has been completed. So literally all you have to do now is wait for your email to arrive at the email address you specified, uh, which was this one here. I'm not sure how long it takes on 10 minute mail to for an email to come through. I'll maybe get 10 more minutes so that'll refresh it. Nope. All right, I'll just pause the video and I'll wait till the email comes through. All right, so here we go. We've got a new email here. It says payment successful. If you click on that, it will give you your uh in this email, you will have your product key, you will have the download link to the software and your serial number. And I have blanked it out because um, because it is private information um, even though this is just a test video and the account and everything will be deleted before this video goes up um, we're just blanking out the um, the serial and the product key in case anybody uh, 
has any smart ideas. <laughs> so anyway, um, read through the email. Um, there's important information that you should read in there. And you want to definitely copy your product key, your download link, and your installation serial number to a text document or something uh, where you can refer to it again later. And what you want to do is go to the download link, uh, which I will just grab right here. All right, so copy the download link. So that's the first thing you have to do is download the software and click download and we'll wait for this to download in fact I should already have one already downloaded if I go to my downloads so we'll just stop this one but you would obviously let it complete okay so I switched over to my virtual machine because I've already got Apparition Net uh, activated on my main computer so I'll go ahead and run this uh, you get the logo you just gotta wait a few seconds and the installer pops up you wanna click next you can enter any name you want it doesn't have to be your username for the program um, but the serial number you have to enter is the serial number you got given in the email so paste that serial number in click next install to the default location, always install to the default location um, and click next create desktop icon, next finish uh, just say it's installed correctly and that should be it, so now all you do is run the program, run it as administrator or go to compatibility, check the box to always run as administrator so you don't have to run as admin each time the reason you need to run as admin is because if you don't then the program does not get the correct permissions to create certain directories that need to be created uh, to store stat files and stuff on uh, which will, will definitely cause errors if you don't uh, put that in if you don't run it as admin so now we get the product activation box enter your product key in here again you would have got that with the email okay so I've entered my product key and I've been prompted to now enter my username, password and CPU key. This needs to be your username, it's any username you want, any password you want as long as you remember it. Um, and the CPU key must be the CPU key from your console, not from any KVs. Some people make that mistake and put the, the CPU key they got with a key vault. That is not your CPU key. You need your CPU key which you can find on Zell. You can find it on Dash Launch. And there's no excuse for entering the wrong CPU key. I'm sorry, if you enter the wrong CPU key, then what will happen on the program is that the program will either shut off or it will say CPU key mismatch uh, when you try and use the program with your console. There is really no excuse for people getting the wrong CPU key. CPU keys are always in all caps. Um, we always get people who used to send us it in lowercase. That's just incorrect, plainly. Um, and the other problem... Or the other reason why there's no real excuse is you can grab your CPU key directly from the network using JRunner. If you use the program JRunner, um, then you can load up Zell as long as your console is connected to the network. Um, you can load up Zell on your console, load up JRunner on your computer, and then there is a get, I, get CPU key from network uh, where you just enter the IP address that Zell gives you, which is usually something like 192.168.1.99 or something and then you just click scan IP it finds uh, it finds your console and it just grabs the CPU key straight from Zell and pastes it into JRunner and then you can copy and paste it in here and that is definitely the precise correct CPU key so there's really no excuses for entering the wrong CPU key um, Remember not to remember to look out for any spaces after the CPU key you entered or before the CPU key because that would also um, cause a CPU key mismatch. So make sure it is correct. Um, all right, so let's just enter a username. We'll just call this one test account. Uh, we'll call this uh, put password. Um, we'll enter my CPU key. CPU key. Um, then you want to click I agree that the information above is correct 
and if the data is wrong, I may not be entitled to a refund, which is exactly why I'm telling you to make sure this information is correct. Make sure you remember your username, you remember your password, note it down somewhere if you have to, um, and make 100% sure the CPU key is correct. So that is why that is so important. So click I agree, then click activate software. I'll wait a few seconds once it is entered it will say activation was successful if it says it was not successful then double check the code uh, your product key and click OK and that is it you have now successfully activated um, your copy of Apparition Net so I'm not sure if it is trying to run it right now or if you have to run it uh, yep there you go it just runs it for you Okay, so when the program actually opens, you can then go ahead and log in. I'll just log in on my main account. But uh, you can just log in on the account that you have created. Log in. Uh, you can click Remember Me so that uh, you don't have to log in each time. Click uh, Log In. And that is it. Just got to wait. And it will ask you if you want to connect to your console. Um, I'm currently on my virtual machine, so no, I'm not able to connect to the console. But that is it. Um, done. There you go, guys. Uh, that is basically the auto system right there. And you can get AfrishNet fully installed, set up with an account, uh, without actually having to speak to any of us on AIM. So thank you all for watching. Go ahead, leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And I will see you guys next time.